Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be working on the Scion FRS. Uh, we will actually install a new wheel hub. My mom is bringing the car now. Uh, what happened probably when it was hit, the hub was damaged and uh, as a result, after a couple races, it got really noisy. Okay, so when you when you reach probably 45 plus mile an hour, you got really noisy, so stay with us. We're gonna go ahead and replace it now quick. We show you how to do that, how to remove and replace front wheel hub on it. Alright guys, so we got a wheel hub. Okay, let's see now. Maybe somewhere. Or well, maybe not, that's for Beamer parts. Let's go get the right parts, I guess. You know? Okay, so this time we got the parts. Hopefully the right ones. Okay, that's the help. About 80, 80 bucks, I think, free shipping. So we're going to replace it now. It comes with, the, with bolts and everything, so we'll see. It feels really nice and smooth. We'll see what ours looks like when we remove it. So stay with us, we're really curious to see if it has play or if it's uh, not as smooth, something's wrong because it's really noisy at high speed. So let's go ahead and start on it now. Kind of curious what the tires look after three races of autocross, three double runs actually. So that's probably about 24 laps, I think. Well, 24 one of us, so 48. So we're gonna jack it up, take the tire off now. Okay, so what we need to do now, we need to compress the cylinder right here. Okay, and you can borrow tools from auto parts stores, but you can do it by hand actually with a screwdriver with those. And uh, we got this one compressed. You can see how much it moved. And you need to compress the, the piston inside the caliper. And now uh, with a 14 millimeter socket, we're gonna take these two off there. Okay, like that. So uh, we can go ahead and remove the uh, remove the caliper out of there. Okay, so we are going to take those off now. You need to get a big zip tie or or a wire, something zi uh, heavy duty zip tie is, would be great actually, because now when you pull the caliper out, uh, you will need to uh, tie it for the shock, so it's not hanging on the. Uh, on the holes on the brake line because uh, you can damage it and that could be that could be pretty dangerous okay so that's how we're gonna tie it now just right there okay next we'll remove the brake pads and now it will be the time to inspect them as well so they're still pretty good for factory brake pads as you can see uh, 50,000 miles and they're still not wore out and a couple races on them so that's that's still good so now we will need to uh, go ahead and remove the bracket for the brakes there so we can uh, we can get it out of the way we will need to pull the roller out so these two bolts on the back with 17 millimeter socket we need to go ahead and get those loose and take them off And those are pretty tight actually, you can see. So we want to see now if we can do them with a little ratchet once you get them loose. Yeah, and they will go by hand. We will have a video guys how to do the dance pedal thing on it's called. Uh, when you turn all the traction control systems off. Which is pretty great for drifting. We can go ahead and remove the bracket. Alright guys, so uh, if you get two bolts like that, uh, you can remove the roller. They need to be the same thread. And uh, you're going to go a little bit on one, then the next one. And you can see how it pulled the roller out of there. So now you can go ahead and remove the bolts. We don't need them anymore. That way you don't hammer the roller out of there and damage it. Okay, right here. 
Okay, so you can hear it now, guys. Listen. Okay, you can even hear it just turning it by hand. So we definitely have a problem there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove it now and replace it with a new one. And see what uh, maybe the bearing looks like, if it's visible. So on the back now we have four bolts that we will need to remove. So uh, it will be a 14 millimeter socket. Let's see if we can take that thing off. Really excited to get it fixed because it's really annoying driving highway speeds. And it just happened last last time when we were coming back from the race. Driving home we had to drive about 3 hours to get home and all of a sudden it got really noisy. Okay, some WD-40 we sprayed from the back, now we're gonna try to get it out with the hammer. Okay guys, that's what it is, that's what the other one looks like, finally got it out. So we almost screwed up big time, big time, on that cap on the back actually comes out easy and that's a good thing you can see where it came out because what happened in our case we forgot we just forgot to remove the ABS sensor right there so we need to go ahead and take it off with a 10 millimeter socket it's pretty simple but sometimes when you're in a hurry you don't think about stuff or when it's something new you're working on that's why it's always good to see a video so you know what you can avoid and save yourself about 50 bucks probably for a sensor there okay let's see okay that's the sensor guys right there ABS sensor so we're gonna take a little bit of sandpaper and clean it here you can see all the rust we have and uh, that works really good guys for cleaning after sanding you know and while you're sanding you can apply a little bit just don't sand too much just to clean the rust okay that will be for the pen penetrating oil that's that's amazing so we can push the new one in pretty easy that way because if you hammer it too much you're going to damage it and you can see the new one it goes in pretty easy compared to the other one just barely tap it not too much And just do that on the casing, not on the bearing. Okay, so we got it in almost all the way. No need to hammer it too much. We're going to apply some thread lock on the bolts. Uh, they used to have some. We're going to apply some. And uh, we're going to install them. And uh, get, get it tied with the bolts. Those are very important. Get, do get those tied. And uh, it's important to go in a cross pattern, one here, one down there, then here and there, like that, like X. Okay, you can see how much it moved. So now we need to go one on the bottom. So we need to alternate, you know, that X pattern. Now the other one on top. And you need to get them tied by hand. Okay, so uh, you need to make sure everything is good, tight, because that little impact is just to save you from turning them by hand, but it's not gonna get them tight. Okay, time to get them tight by hand now, all of them. Make sure you don't break them, not too, too tight. You, you can probably find the specs on that online. Okay, we're gonna install the ABS sensor now and uh, we're gonna put everything back together, brakes, disc crawler, uh, everything, everything. We're gonna see how it is and we're gonna let you know, guys.
second year class.